y'all, Ollie here. Welcome to or back to my channel today. I am doing oh, November favorites. Late, but I'm still in the game. I hope. So, anyways, <laughs> let's just jump right in. And um, this is something like super new to me. And this is Real Colors Stay and Spray Setting Spray. Um, this is a setting spray that has the same like active ingredients as Max Fix Plus spray. This sucker butt right here. So this is pretty much a dupe for that. Um, this is 2.8 ounces and with Mac you get 3.4. This is 20 or 21 dollars. And this, I have a Sally's Beauty Supply like membership so it was only $6.99 for me but I think it's like regularly $8.99 or something like that so it's still a better deal and I like it a lot because I like this aerosol sprayer um with like the max of sauce I feel like I have to shh, shh, shh. like I have to like go in sections of my face and then this sucker watch yeah I just bathe in it like that and it's so good so anyways I like that I like that part about it and I think it's yeah good deal I really I don't know why I really don't know why I like the smell of the Mac one better but um I don't wear makeup for the smell except Too Faced but anyways off subject um next thing I am loving is I mentioned it before but it is the Maybelline Dream Pure BB it's an 8 in 1 beauty balm looks like this it has salicylic salicylic acid in it I think I say that right I think I said that right I always ask my boyfriend before I say it I'm like say that word but anyways um this has it in there and that's why I like it so if I'm like running out of the house to take the kids to school or to drop um my man off at the train station um I just like throw some of this on I just feel like it helps like even out my skin tone and like my under eyes not so dark and nasty but um I also really like that it helps with my breakouts and stuff too so if I am like having any issues with my skin I'll throw this on before I throw on my makeup and I just feel like it's like a little protectant seal so that the makeup doesn't get like too far into my pores and make it worse it works in my opinion or I made myself think that I don't know anyways moving on I really thought I would just sit down and mention these um, three things to you because I love them so much like they're so good um, and that is one of them is gonna be the Maybelline um, dream Lumi, and this is the pen it's a highlighting concealer and that's exactly what I use it for to highlight um my face and to conceal and I really see the difference in like the brightness in my under eye when I use this I love it a lot and I think that Maybelline does an amazing job on their concealers they definitely hold their own against high end that being said my next is the Maybelline instant age rewind dark circle eraser this one has a sponge applicator which I've heard a lot of people like don't like but I do I like the way it um like evenly puts product on my face so I like it um, I've never had an issue with like the sponge being dirty or nasty or anything like that um, and I use neutralizer oh and then this is in the shade ivory so those two I also really enjoy um, the Maybelline this is the fit me concealer and um, I've heard these to be like a dupe for the NARS ones I don't I don't know that I necessarily think that but I enjoy them just the same um, and this is in the color 30 cafe and then I have um, like a light colored one that I highlight with and this is actually the one that I contour my face with and what I will say is that I like this just as much as I like my Chanel Universal Bronzer for contouring my face. I feel like this number 30 and the Chanel only comes in that one color, it's a Universal Bronzer. It it really kind of comes out to the same color. Like I don't feel like 
oh I use this one when I want to go darker I use that one when I want like a lighter contour like they're pretty much the same to me they blend out almost the same as well except that one is a lot more creamier than the the cream one from Chanel so anyways I like she a lot really quickly um, I'm really 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 loving this um, highlighter and this is the color spoon from Colourpop and it's a cream highlighter this is oh I don't even think I'm gonna get any of this on camera but anyways it's what I have on my um, the high points of my cheek today as well as like six other ones but anyways I just laid this one down first as like a cream and then I go in with my powdered highlighters so that this the highlight has something to like adhere to did I say that right but like yeah so it kind of has something to cling to something cream and I don't know I just like it a lot I feel like it's a really beautiful shade it has a lot of sparkle but it's not like glittery or chunky or anything it's really finely done so I love that and I love this trio I might have even mentioned this in last month's video it, I used it in my holiday tutorial and it's the Laura Geller Gilded Honey um, the Mary Lou Luminizer by The Balm I love she and Marilyn from Gerard Cosmetics I love all three of these together now I feel like individually there's not a whole lot of difference in these three shades but I just love them so so much let me just swatch these out for you real quick because they're so beautiful that they're worth they're worth swatching out they are so effing beautiful oh, I can't get over it okay actually they're all pretty different I'm just noticing right now so this is Gilded Honey this is Mary Lou Luminizer and then this last one is gonna be uh, Marilyn I love them all so much and I think you can definitely tell that Marilyn is a lot more like golden and Mary Lou is bright but anyways I love them all and I love to mix them all together I just think it just looks so nice and that's what I'm wearing today it's pretty much what I've been wearing every single day I've been trying to like be better at digging into my other ones but I just really 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 love this combo right now anyways another favorite of mine is this Becca Jaclyn Hill trio and I just really am loving this blush copper right here to the side I'm just gonna hold it like this I'm really loving blush copper right here and then I just really enjoy this when I'm doing shades like I have on today that are um, cooler shades. When I wear warmer shades I really love Mary Lou Luminizer for that inner corner eye highlight but when I'm wearing like silvers and um, like more cool tone shades like this one I really like going in with this color right here pearl for my inner I highlight so I'm really 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 enjoying this I love I just love them all I mean Jacqueline did an amazing job on champagne pop and that trio is no exception it's amazeballs so another thing that I'm really enjoying this month let me just get some of these highlighters off my hand are the Ofra um, long lasting liquid lipsticks and I have the color my Manhattan which I think is so beautiful and like kind of this I don't know kind of deeper berry kind of color and then this collab they did with Kathleen Lights and she named it Miami Fever so here's Miami Fever right here and Manhattan is right here I love them I think Miami Fever is so unique it is like nothing else I have it is like a beautiful like terracotta kind of color and I don't know honestly I was just so thirsty to have that and I got it during their like Black Friday sale. I will link I will add in my description box Kathleen Lights discount code which I think is like 40% off and I think that's pretty freaking amazing too because for Black Friday they did 50% off so same ish. Anyways 
Another favorite of mine, this is just a little sample that I got because I don't know where I can find Jessie's Girl near me, but this is a Jessie's Girl eyeshadow primer, which is funny because I heard about it on Kathleen Light's channel, um, and she was saying how much she loved it, but they sent this to me in my Ipsy bag, I think, or a Birch Box, I'm not sure, but I really, really like this. It's like super tacky. It doesn't necessarily drown out all the colors in your eyes like, um, a pink pod wood from MAC but it's definitely super tacky and um, really keeps your eyeshadows on so I really like that from the drugstore that's amazing another favorite of mine is this Too Faced Natural Eyes palette and I just think like if you don't like if you're not looking to buy like a whole big palette and like you're looking for something that's like good for every day all the time use these shades are so so beautiful they are so nice like I really didn't think that like I would be that impressed with colors like honey pot and um, silk teddy but I was I am and I absolutely love this and I feel like this is a, like a true legit one-stop shop kind of um, um, palette because you do have your like transition shades you do have your highlight browns you have more transition shades shimmers mattes like everything is in here and they're all so good so Too Faced did an amazing job on this and I absolutely love it um two more favorites real quick is the cover fx um oil free foundation natural finish oil free I'm in G50 and this is a really really great full coverage foundation and I just like it a lot. I also really enjoy the concealer. Actually and the primer. I've been trying it out this week and I'm actually really liking that too. But anyways, this sucker butt, I I just think it's it's really great. It's one of my favorites. Not just this month, but I think in like in the grand scheme of foundations, she's a keeper. Another is the MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. Now I just really like this and I tend to mix it with like other foundations but I do feel like it, it really is a long wearing foundation and um, for waterproof I like the finish of it I like the way it feels and stuff so I'm really enjoying those and a NARS audacious mascara now I don't know it's just really lengthening and like it really helps like full in my it's a really full brush so it really like brings out um it lengthens it volumes and um I like that it doesn't weigh my lashes down because that's a really big issue with me and my lashes is them being weighed down so I like that a lot another lastly favorite of mine is the MAC eyeshadows palette and this is the it, one that is exclusive to Nordstrom's and this is the cool naturals and this is what I'm wearing on my eyes today and I just love it love it love it love it they are so beautiful such a great deal it's only 85 not only because that's so it's my most expensive palette $85 besides the one that I had to custom make that like twice as much so I think it's a great deal considering if you bought them individually it would be like twice as much I think it's like a hundred and sixty dollar value and they sell them for 85 now this is the cool neutrals palette um, they have, I think, like three other ones. They have, um, like, warmer ones and stuff like that. But I don't have a lot of cool shades, so I figured if I was going to do a whole palette, I definitely didn't need another palette of all warm colors. So I thought neutral was the way to go, and I'm really enjoying this. I like it a lot. I think I'm, I'm wearing, like, six shades. I don't even want to go into what I'm wearing. But I'm really enjoying this a lot. I think it's a great value. Um, I know that like for like Black Friday around Christmas time, they did 25% off their like eyeshadow palettes and stuff. So I was actually able to pick this up for like 60 something bucks, which was even a better deal. So if I do see that, like I will, I will update my description box and let you guys know. But that's everything for this month. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys found it helpful and I really hope to see y'all in my next video.